Hi students, Ms. Loafman here, and I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to go over your math assignment for today and just, uh, let's just think about what we're gonna do. So in Seesaw, if you will look at your lesson plan, you'll click on the link that says, go to this Seesaw activity, and it's gonna bring up a page that looks like this. Because today we are going to be comparing fractions with same numerators or denominators. So I want us to notice some things as we just observe this page here. So in the first box, if I'm looking at these two fractions, and again, we're still working with fractions today. Uh, if I'm looking at these two fractions, what do I notice is the same? What numbers, what, are, what is the same, the numerator or the denominator? Well, surely you said the denominator because as I look at these, I see five is the numerator of this first fraction, five eighths. And five is the numerator of the second fraction with five six. So we are comparing fractions, this first box here, with the same numerator. And I wanted to refresh your memory about the greater than, less than, and equal to symbols. So if you were in my class, we talked a lot about how we can recognize the symbols uh, because sometimes the words aren't there. Sometimes we're not going to see the word greater than. Sometimes we're not going to see the word less than. So how can we think about these symbols correctly? How can we know which symbol is which? So I wanted to go over that with you now. I have talked about how we can think of a number line when we think of greater than and less than symbols. So I don't know if this looks backward to you. As I'm staring at it in, this, in the video screen, it does look backward to me. But if you need to, why don't you draw a number line, just like a regular number line, and you're going to put your zero at the beginning of the number line, and then maybe put, you know, three, four, five, six numbers to kind of create that visual there, that number line that we need to see. Again, if this is backward, please don't let it confuse you. The zero goes at the beginning of the number line, and as we travel toward the end of this number line, the numbers get what? Do they get greater or do they get less? I hope you say that as we travel this direction, the numbers get greater. We have greater numbers. So if you see the symbol um, at the end of this number line, that is the symbol for greater than. Now, I know this is a little bit of a, um, of a, a, a little hint in just kind of how we can think about it. Um, but this is my trick for remembering in my head which symbol is greater than and which symbol is less than. So I always think of it as numbers on a number line. As the numbers get larger, I can say they're getting greater, and then the symbol greater than is pointing that direction, okay? In the same way, as numbers... As we go this way on the number line, numbers are getting lower or less. So we say six, five, four, three, two, one. Those numbers are less and less and less. So as we go this way, we find that numbers going this direction on the number line are less than, they get, they get less, they are lower, okay? So if you need to draw out a number line just to help refresh your memory, just to help you remember that this is the greater than symbol and this is the less than symbol, that is okay to do. Now I wanna show you another way that we can, um, that we can use virtual fraction pieces to help us with this sheet. If you need to, you can log into Stimscopes so you'd go to STEM scopes and uh, you will see the, uh, the, that we have assigned fraction tiles to you. Um, these fraction tiles can help you 
when you're comparing um, our fraction sheet here. So let's just take this first box here, 5 eighths and 5 sixths, okay? So we're going to go to our fraction piece, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, this, this represents the whole. This is a whole. So I'm going to take 5 eighths. So I'm going to take five of these and I'm going to place them beside each other. The great thing is they snap into place. Oops, maybe they don't. When you place them beside each other, they kind of snap into place. So there's that. And I'm going to take five of them. So five eighths. Okay, we can say this is five eighths. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. Now I'm going to take the the fraction 5 6. So I'm going to go back to my virtual fraction tiles and I'm going to take 5 1 6 pieces because that makes 5 6. So as I'm looking at these two fractions 5 8 and five sixths. Let's think about what we see. And actually, we have to see what comes first. Okay, so five eighths comes first. And when you read these boxes, when you look at the box here, you have to say five eighths first. Five eighths is what? Then five sixths. Five eighths here it is, is less than five six. You see how one the, the one six pieces that we've created, they they are they they are bigger, they're longer. It's a longer bar, it's a longer fraction bar than the one eighth pieces. So what I would do is I would come back to my page and I would draw in. Okay, take the draw tool and I would draw in um, the, the less than symbol because 5 eighths is less than 5 sixths. So uh, remember on with fractions, uh, the bigger the, the denominator, the smaller the fraction. So 8 is bigger than 6. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. Um, so I hope that helps you as you are working through this page today in comparing fractions. If you have any questions, please let us know. We want to help you. So um, hope you have a great day, and we will see you next time. Bye.